Hello and welcome to Agent Miniman. Today's episode of the Daily Poll. The topic today is new languages. And we are going to start the poll now. Question, which foreign language are you most likely to learn? Options, Spanish, French, German, Chinese, or other. Please specify in the comments. So, for that, because they are well foreign i have put in some research and found pages for each one of them spanish currently has 410 million native speakers french has 338 german has 120 million and Ch and chinese does not have a current um estimate because of the amount it's just so high it, like all of asia uses it and there's no way to get a current count as you may already know i'm currently trying to learn french i've been doing it for about three months now and i've got probably as far as a high school student would in about one week but hey it's progress i'm 13 you can't really get that much out of me Spanish is currently in most mostly used in Spain, Mexico, Middle and Eastern South America. French is used in obviously France, Canada, and Midwestern Africa along with a lot of islands in various oceans. German is used a lot in Northern Europe and Southern Africa. Uh, I tried to do a little bit of German, but it's just so close to Old English, it's just not even enjoyable. So, here we are. Right now, it says that Standard Chinese is native to China, Taiwan, and Singapore, and has over 300 dialects. That mainly because it's like a whole new region of language not being latin based i would prefer honestly if i were to do something else other than french to do a non-latin based language just to get that new experience in but i know a lot of people wouldn't because it is harder to completely learn an entire new alphabet so we're three out of 15 minutes in to new languages and I will read from the page of each one of the languages right now. Spanish, in its dialect, Espanol, I probably completely screwed that up, forgive me. Um, it's called, nicknames are uh, Romance Language and the Royal Language of Spain, also called Castilian or Castellano in the actual language, which I probably, again, completely screwed up. Um, uh, another of the several dialects of Latin and used in Western Roman Empire in the 5th century and has spread around the European continent and now to the American as well. And then it also has gotten its name of the Romance language, put into that category with Octillian, French, Italian, and Sardinian. Oh, I forgot to put Italian on there. That will be also an option when I post it onto YouTube. I'm so sorry about that. But, um, continuing on, the major use of it in America is, as I said before, in Central America and the east side of South America. In Spain, major dialects are the Castellano and Espanol. Now, in the central part of Spain is mostly the standard Spanish dialect, but Castil Castilian is all, all the way around the northern border. Border, sorry, I really uh, tongue tied. Is like in a banner along the northern border. French. Just say said for a sec. <laughs> Whatever. Um, it's spoken in France, Romandie, 
Switzerland, Rwanda, Brussels, Belgium, Monaco, Quebec, Ontario, New Brunswick, and most of Canada, as well as those three cities that I've just named. The most used second language, it's mostly done in America, from English to French as a second language. And it says here that in the 2010 census, it brought back that Louisiana, Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont have the most second language of German, along with a lot more. Now, French would not be all that big of a language if it was contained to just Europe because French is almost the only one in there that speaks it. However, as I said earlier, the Mideastern part of Africa and Canada adds in a lot, and actually about 15% of it is from scattered islands all throughout all the other oceans. So, German, primarily in German-speaking Europe, the northern part, is the official language of Austria, Belgium, Germany, Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, South Tyrol, and is a minor language in Italy, and the and is an official language of the European Union. It is recognized as a minority language in the Czech Republic, Denmark, Hungary, Kazakhstan, Ukraine, Nam- Namibia, Russia, Slovakia, Slovenia, Croatia, Serbia, Brazil, South Africa, Vatican City, and Venezuela. It's almost as big as English, and when I was trying to learn a little bit of it, German has formal and non-formal versions. The non the formal version, which English no longer has of its own language, that has almost been lost, except ancient writings. Um, people who used to speak Old German in the formal sense, and English speakers of Old English in the formal sense could almost speak the same language, as you could see in the formal version of of Portuguese and Spanish today. Mandarin, also known as t- Chinese, Patagano, Guio, and those last two I probably completely screwed up, forgive me if you actually know the whole correct term, um, as I said earlier, has over 300 dialects, official language in China, Taiwan, Singapore, the United Nations, the Shanghai Corporation, organization, Wa State, Myanmar, probably really jacked up that name too, the National Language Regulating Committee is the is regulating it in China and Taiwan. Well, there are over 300 dialects of Chinese. They almost all have the common tongue of Pun Pun Punguo. I have no idea how to say that. I know one of my friends can, but I'm not a Mandarin person at all. Um, it dates back to the Ming Dynasty in 1368 as the latest dialect. However, which just shows how expansive it is if the newest dialect began over 700 years ago. And the oldest rule, let me see if I can find it, the oldest dialect was, it goes so far back that it can't be dated. Currently, there are um, 80% of 80 percent of Asia uses it. Also, it is used throughout the world in parts of um, the Middle East, along with some in the very southern part of the very southern part of South America and throughout even the European part of Russia. So along with all of those, the one thing I would like to point out here, the Radio Lingua Network is what I've been using mainly for my German. And it has the series of Walk, Talk, and Learn of French, Spanish, and German, along with Coffee Break podcasts of German, Spanish, French, and now Portuguese. 
all these are very great services if you would like to start learning a language I would definitely recommend Radio Lingua and all those languages are also available on Duolingo an app available on Android and the App Store and I also use that as well I would definitely recommend both and the links to both of those will be in the comments below and in the notes and please don't forget to post your vote down in the comments below like comment and subscribe we have five minutes left in the video so I'm just going to let the voting close up on Ustream but I'm going to stop the recording for YouTube so long